Hey guys, it's Charlie with Wyoming Militaria. Got another video here for you today. Going to be talking about some cavalry bits. And today I have an assistant. Uh, Mom came to visit. Say hi, Mom. Hi. So she's going to be helping me do this video today. Want to talk about a bit that you don't encounter a heck of a lot today. A lot of modern horsemen, the sheer sight of this bit just angers them and they think it's criminal to even own one and it ought to be cut up with a cutting torch they're a very harsh bit but they're definitely a piece of history of the u.s cavalry start of the civil war before the civil war and even after the army traditionally bought broke horses they bought horses that were ready to ride they spent time teaching their riders how to handle their horses which was really important. However, when the Civil War broke out, there was such a need for men and animals so quick, horses frequently were not trained at all. The army had to break them, and at times they sent animals in the field that weren't even broke. So, one thing they developed at, you know, around the start of the war uh, was called a ring bit or a model 1859 curb bit number one now you say ring bit everybody gets all excited says oh yeah yeah i got one of those this thing here this model 1874 shoemaker this isn't a ring bit this is a ring bit so i'm going to go ahead and go over some components of the ring bit here this particular one's made by barkley and these are a very heavy bit. They did come with a cricket. That's what that little roller there is called. Help the horse make saliva. Helps calm it down a little bit. These were a severe bit when you wanted a severe response out of a horse. And this one, it's got an inspector mark right there. Barkley right there. You got your bosses. Rain ring, slobber bar, all intact. So I'm going to hand the phone off here, and I'm going to kind of show you guys how this worked. I'm going to use my hand like it's a horse's mouth. So traditionally, this will go down the bot lower jaw of a horse. This will go in the mouth. This is called the port. And as you leverage the bit, it would come into the top of the horse's mouth to get its attention to control it. So you'd have your jaw down here in the ring and as I'm going to just put that through there as you pulled on your rain rings you can see how that would drive that port and grip that horse's jaw to maneuver him how you wanted to maneuver him. The Spaniards and other horse cultures uh, use these traditionally for a lot of years and they were a good bit if used with a very light gentle hand with certain animals however unfortunately for horses of the civil war more often than not the people that employed these bits did not have gentle hands a lot of horses incurred a lot of damage and pain and suffering because of these bits but no cavalry uh, bit collection is complete without one and i just wanted to show mine anyways hope you guys are liking the videos hope you guys are enjoying them if you want to share the videos uh, please like and follow the page if you're watching us on youtube please subscribe if you're liking the videos on youtube go to facebook and follow us on facebook if you're watching us on Facebook, go to YouTube and subscribe to the channel. So anyways, me and Mom are going to get out of here, get back with doing some stuff, but we didn't want to forget the video this week. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great day.